The sun was shining in Copenhagen, the city that hosted, together with the capital region of Denmark, the Committee of the Region's 5th European Summit of Regions and Cities. Copenhagen, known for its sustainable urban development, was a perfect place to gather over 300 local representatives and urban experts from all over Europe. Under the title, The European Urban Fabric in the 21st Century, the COR members discussed how to put the regions and cities at the heart of Europe's recovering from the crisis and how to ensure Europe's green growth. Cities are home to 75% of our population in Europe. They account for 80% of energy use. Urban areas with more than 250,000 inhabitants, the so-called metropolitan regions, generate 77% of Europe's GDP, while their population represents only 59% of the total European Union's population. There is no doubt that the 21st century will be increasingly urban. To study sustainable urban planning, the Committee of the Regions invited its guests for an afternoon filled with workshops. One workshop discussed the impact of the EU on urban development and also how citizens can be involved in regional and local projects. In another room, experts and representatives dealt with the question how to create greener urban strategies, the theme of the upcoming Rio Plus 20 Earth Summit. Together with the President of the European Commission, the COR President Mercedes Bresso inaugurated the exhibition entitled Beautiful, Green, Smart and Inclusive, Colorful Cities. It showcases best practice. In this case, in Rotterdam, it illustrates inclusiveness. Rotterdam has bought uh, real estate from some very bad owners, from slumlords, uh, who didn't maintain their property. And we bought those houses and we sold them in the bad shape to people who were going to live there themselves. They, they had to promise that they had, they had enough money to repair it and to live there themselves. It gave more hope, it gave the idea uh, well, oh, this area is not so bad. The plenary session on the second day of the summit of the regions and cities got deeper into the question how to make the city of tomorrow connected to its surroundings and how to make it, above all, a nice place to live. The task we all face is extremely complex. We need to promote energy efficiency as well as socially integrated cities. We need sustainability in our development and innovation. What we need is awareness that local and regional politics is a decisive basis for keeping society together. The entscheidende basis for the Zusammenhang der Gesellschaft ist. On the last day of this summit of regions and cities and in the presence of the European Parliament President, the Danish Prime Minister stressed that the European growth has to be sustainable. I actually don't believe that Europe can afford not to discuss green growth. And it is as much about overcoming the current crisis by way of creating new knowledge-based jobs in Europe, in Europe's green sector in the short term, term, as it is about liberating Europe in the longer run from our addiction to oil. At the end of the summit and in the context of the UN Conference on Sustainable Development, local and regional representatives of all EU member states adopted the Copenhagen Declaration, asking to make cities greener, more socially inclusive and more economically competitive. Noi, membri del Comitato delle Regioni, we members of the Committee of the Regions declare that the EU has an important role to play in reducing regional disparities. We state that the Union's work can only have a tangible impact if cities and regions are giving a central role in implementing the EU 2020 strategy. And we are made full partners through multi-level governance. The summit ended with a call upon the European Union to share its best practice, such as the Covenant of Mayors and the European Green Capitals at a global level.